So I wanted to start recording season two, but it looks like EA deleted my franchise mode. You don't scare me. Now we're back at the trade deadline. The playoff sim was even more of a disaster this time as we somehow lost to the Leafs. The Leafs actually won the cup. So the draft went a little bit differently this time. Rensfeld to Chicago, Michkov to LA, Bedard to the New York Rangers, and Fantilli to the Kraken. So we still got Haltunen and Vallette, but I did not get Manino, the immediate elite goalie, unfortunately, this time. I ended up signing Matt Dumba this time. So thankfully, I was able to get Nathan McKinnon again. Here are our trade values, and you can see the contracts right here and overalls. So if you didn't watch the first episode, once again, I'm only going to be offering trades I think are realistic. I'll be able to accept trades from the AI even if I think they're unrealistic because some GMs do offer some pretty dumb trades. And I'm not allowed to trade people I signed in for agency until they're in their last or second last year of their contract. So unfortunately, that means I'm stuck with that Nathan McKinnon guy. Here's a look at the goalies. We're, gonna, we're going with the Huso Talbot tandem this year. And Kosa's a 76. Anunin's actually an 80 now. Here are the Lions, we've got Zadina, McKinnon, Raymond getting that plus one on line one. We've got Soderblom, Larkin, Pavelski on line two, Peron Kopp, Verona line three, and Kubelik, Fabry, Felino line four, so crazy depth. On defense, we've got Dumba and Sider line one, Edmondson up to an 82 with Hironik on line two, and then Schrott and Broberg on line three. So a couple of months into the season, we are in first place in the division. McKinnon leading the way at 35 points. That top line is looking great. Mosider was 17, Soderblom was 16. Pause if you want to read all the stats because this is where everyone clicked off my video last time. So I'm not going to show this for very long and please subscribe. The Kraken are offering us a third and Justin Schultz for Jonathan Berggren and I'm going to say no. I think Berggren is going to be a big part of the future. So at the trade deadline we are 35, 19, and 6 for 76 points. We should be able to make the playoffs as long as we don't make an epic collapse here. So let's look at the whole league now. Edmonton in first place. Philadelphia somehow is still in fourth. How on earth is Philadelphia in fourth? Why are they so good? And here we are in fifth place. So it's our division is just stacked. We're doing really good. Nathan McKinnon leading the way with 75 points in 60 games. He's got 40 goals. But after that, it's quite a drop off. Larkin's been a bit disappointing. The second line isn't playing too well. Again, please pause if you want to see all the stats, Sherratt struggling a bit, maybe he'll be replaced because it's trade deadline day. So thankfully I was right about Huso rebounding, he's got a 9.15 save percentage, he's been great while Talbot has been the backup and has struggled. We are going to enter the trade deadline as a buyer this year, we're going all in. Alex DeBrinkett is a UFA, Kopitar Dowdy, Vladimir Tarasenko on Buffalo, Ryan O'Reilly on a huge contract, Shen I definitely don't want, Bob I don't want, Fleury I don't want. Gostas Bear signed a big long-term deal, so that's kind of unfortunate. If not, he would be pretty good. Hannafin might be a great addition to the team. So we're going all in for Debrinket. He is going to be a rental. I don't see any way I'd afford him in free agency. Rasmussen and Felino heading the other way. Let's see what they say. Trade rejected. I'm going to offer the exact same deal to the Buffalo Sabres for Vladimir Tarasenko. Let's see what they say. Trade rejected. I've decided to put Fabry in this deal instead of Felino because they're interested in Fabry. Let's see what they say now. Trade is still rejected. Look at this trade offer by the Golden Knights. Kosa and Berggren for pretty much a whole lot of nothing. Now this is a more interesting trade offer. Berggren for Chillington. Chillington is an 83. Definitely make the team better, but I really don't want to give a Berggren. All right, we weren't getting Tarasenko, so now we're going to try Rasmussen and Felino for Andre Kopitar. Nope. Two solid players, one of them being a young player they'll have for a long time and who can play center is also able to play the wing. Felino is really good, a fourth and a fifth. The Kings will want to get rid of him, do it. Trade accepted on Zay Kopitar. Welcome to the Detroit Red Wings. It's exciting to bring a Stanley Cup champion into the organization. So that's actually going to be the only trade I'll make because we're out of cap space. Kopitar's contract was massive, but we improved the team and I think we have the chance to win the cup now. So looking at the lines now, defense is the same. Top line, we've got Larkin, McKinnon, Perron, and this line two is getting a plus five. Zadina, Kopitar, and Pavelski. That might be the best second line in this game. Line three, Verona, Kopp, Raymond, and line four, Fabry, Soderblom, and Kubelik. This offense core is honestly just ridiculous. 
So in the next episode, we will hopefully be simming the playoffs. I'm pretty confident we will be able to make it. So please leave any suggestions in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.